thank God my second son got married last week. So I'm still processing all of the thoughts and the emotions, the pride, the euphoria, and the hopes and dreams and best wishes for the happy new couple. The reason I'm still processing is as follows. In Hollywood, after a big event, the after party lasts until about sunrise or so. And then the participants all get chauffeured or they uber home bleary-eyed. But in Judaism, after a wedding, the after party lasts a week. There's a week's worth of shevabrachas, festive meals each night that feature the family and friends and the young couple. At one of the shevabrachas, one of the speakers, a rabbi with whom our family is close, offered the following brilliant insight into a passage in this week's Torah portion. The Torah tells us that Jewish men are required to affix fringes, tzitzes, to four-cornered garments. And we're told, re'isam oso, and you should see them, and then you'll remember all of the other commandments. But the grammar in that short phrase doesn't work. It should have said, re'isam osam, you should see them in the plural, because there's more than one fringe. It says, re'isam oso, which is singular, which means it or him. And so this rabbi suggested as follows. We often think that God judges those of us who wear tzitz is based on how long they are, or the color, or whether we're willing to wear them out, showing rather than tucking them in. But he says, no, what the passage is saying is, and you should see him. You should see the person wearing them. God's not as interested in the length or the color or how they're displayed as much as he is interested in who is the person wearing them. What's he like? What are his deeds like? And the reason God is so interested in that is that when a person sees the other guy who's wearing those tzitzes, they can be inspired. Think about it. There are certain people you can just look at them, or in a matter of seconds you can tell, I do not want to mess with that person. A census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. And then there are other people, you meet them or you spend a few seconds with them and you see that they're incredibly inspiring. As King David famously said, Vi'ani tefilasi, I am my prayer. He was a living, breathing prayer to God. You only had to take one look at him and you'd see that in addition to being the warrior and the poet and the leader, he was a servant to God, making sure that every waking moment was dedicated to serving God. Malcolm Gladwell tells us that we form our opinions almost instantaneously when we meet someone. Think about how many interactions you have during the day wherein other people can form an opinion about you or by extension about the Jewish people in a split second. The parking lot attendant where you park your car, the doorman or security guard in your building or a building that you're visiting, the person from whom you order lunch over the phone or in person, the person sitting next to you on the subway, the person waiting next to you for the elevator. A simple smile, a hello, a good morning, a good evening, cost the same thing, but you can make someone's day. And better, you can help someone form a favorable opinion, not just about you, but about the Jewish people with a split-second positive interaction.